Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more WWE 2K17 Universe Mode. I'm Brendan Plays, and this is the final episode of Raw in WWE 2K17. And tonight, the club, the tag team champions of Raw, Gallows and Anderson, they'll team up to take on Seth Rollins and Samoa Joe in a huge main event matchup. Also this week, we have... Superstars, to meet, will be going one-on-one -on -one with Sasha Banks. Not only that, we're going to see the American Alpha, Chuck Gable, Jason Jordan in action against the Cologne, Diego and Fernando. And also, Big Show going one-on-one -on -one with R-Truth. Big Show looking for a victory after a few losses and a bit of ups and downs as of late. Sasha Banks knocks off Tamina. American Alpha pick up the victory over Diego and Fernando. And it is the Big Show scoring the win. Not only that, ladies and gentlemen, this week on Raw, we've got Dean Ambrose going one-on-one -on -one with Kalisto, Sheamus, and Neville will take each other on. Dana Brooke and Paige will battle it out as well. We're also going to see Jimmy Uso going one-on-one -on -one with Bubba Ray Dudley. Of course, the Dudleys prepare for their matchup against the Hardys at No Mercy. Speaking of the Hardys, Jeff Hardy's in action against The Miz. That should be a good contest there between those two. And of course, the main event matchup that we spoke about a moment ago, Gallows and Anderson versus Rollins and Joe. Now, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, the clip showing the results of this uh, of these matches actually failed and stopped working, so I don't actually have that clip for you, but I can go ahead and give you the results anyways. So I do apologize for that. I don't actually have the clip here to, to give you guys. It's not working. So, okay, so Dean Ambrose defeated Kalisto. Sheamus defeated Neville. Paige defeated Dana Brooke, and Bubba Ray Dudley got the victory over Jimmy Uso. So again, apologize for that. It's, you know, obviously that was not planned, but hopefully that's okay. Just give me the results here. So now let's get into our first match of the episode. Okay, so here we go on Monday Night Raw. This is going to be a good one. Looking forward to seeing this matchup. Jeff Hardy going one-on-one -on -one with this man. He is a former tag team champion in his own right. It's the A-lister himself, The Miz. Well, The Miz recently split from Tyler Breeze. They had a matchup. A loser leaves the brand match. The Miz won that match via disqualification. Tyler Breeze got himself disqualified by hitting The Miz with a steel chair. I don't know why he did it. We still don't know why. Tyler Breeze still hasn't been seen since. He's currently in negotiations with SmackDown or NXT. So we don't know which brand he will end up on just right now. But uh, we'll have more updates for you in the next week or so. The week's coming up in the future. It's going to be a lot of big changes coming. Universe, my Raw and SmackDown will have some major, major changes. Lots of fresh faces and new names are coming. Where will Tyler Breeze end up? Well, The Miz doesn't really care. He's going to be staying here on Raw. And he says he wants to become a singles champion. Something that has eluded him throughout his time here in the WWE on Universe Mode. So here we go. Jeff Hardy in his first opportunity in a singles matchup to be showcased here for you guys. We're gonna see what Jeff Hardy is made of. Is he still as good as we know him to be? We know how good the Hardy Boys as a tag team are and we, well, we haven't quite seen them that many times to really judge but I have a pretty good feeling there's going to be a lot, a lot to like about them. But right now, Jeff Hardy will be tested here as a singles. How will Jeff Hardy go? What will he be able to produce? That's the big question right now. It's hard to give you the answer. I'm not exactly sure what we'll see from Jeff Hardy here tonight. But he'll be hoping for a victory over the Miz, of course. And not only that, the Hardy boys do have a match against the Dudleys at No Mercy, which is coming up very, very soon next week. Here on Brendan Plays, we will see no mercy as the Miz immediately goes outside the ring. Wants nothing to do with Jeff Hardy. But Jeff Hardy is going to follow him out there. Starts up with a Hurricane Rana and the Miz cannot escape just yet. 
The start the Miz would have been looking for is a leg drop now by Hardy. Drops down on the Miz as well. And now here comes Maurice. She's going to grab a hold of Jeff Hardy and get in his face. Well, Maurice distracting Jeff. And it's going to work because the Miz is going to take advantage. Leaping neckbreaker there. Down goes Jeff to the outside of the ring. Interesting situation here between the two. No doubt about that. Jeff Hardy obviously focusing on his match against the Dudley Boys coming up at no mercy. And what will be a, well, a Legends versus Legends match. But what we do know is that whoever loses is done, is gone. There's only room for one legendary tag team here on Raw. The Dudley Boys and the Hardy Boys have both agreed on that. They've said, look, whoever loses, we just saw a, losers, a loser leaves the brand match with the Miz and Tyler Breeze. Well, we're getting another one with uh, the Hardys and the Dudley Boys. Whichever team loses, see you later. That's it. But the winning team will earn themselves a tag team championship opportunity in the future. So that is something to look forward to there. Will it be the Dudleys or will it be the Hardy Boys? Hard to really say at this point in time. The Dudley Boys have been very good and a former tag team champion team in their own right, but they haven't exactly been at their absolute best in recent times, just recently returning to Raw. And they're looking to try and make something of themselves again. They wanted to become the number one contenders at SummerSlam for the tag titles. They missed out there. Now they're looking to do it here at No Mercy against the Hardy Boys. But they feel as though they're the nostalgia act. They feel as though they are, you know, the, the legendary team. There's no room for two legendary teams on the run show. And, well, one team will stand. The other team must go. As the Miz looking, at, looking for a suplex connects there as Jeff Hardy catches some of the rope on the way down. Well, this would be a big win for the Miz if he can beat Jeff Hardy, who is obviously very talented and a potential, uh, but has all the potential himself and Matt Hardy both have the potential to be world champions in their own right. So that is a world championship caliber team coming together. And when that happens, yeah, arguably the chemistry normally isn't there. You know, the ego is getting in the way. But these two are brothers. These two, their chemistry could not be any better if they wanted it to be. You know, they worked so well as a team, better than any team you could really see, say here in the WWE right now, as the Tornado DDT. The Hardy Boys have got everything to like about in a team. Everything you want in a team, they can do it. And the fact that they're bound by blood is even... what makes for an even stronger connection between the two. It makes it very, very difficult to overcome. They know each other's arsenal inside and out. Every single move, they know what they're going to do before they even do it. That's how well they're in sync with one another. As the Miz once again goes to the outside, looking for another breather. Meanwhile, Maurice introducing a steel chair in the ring... Trying to distract the referee. Hoping the Miz gets an opportunity to use it. And she's also at the same time trying to get the turnbuckle padding off it as well. Marie Street being quite crafty in the corner there. Trying everything in her power to get the Miz the upper hand here. Meanwhile, Jeff Hardy trying to survive in the middle of the ring. Now back in the corner as the Miz with an elbow strike. So the Hardy boys... One of the best teams going around. They'll meet the Dudley Boys, one of the best teams going around. But which team still has enough left in the tank? Which team will, at the end of the day, remain standing? That's what we're going to find out at No Mercy. We're not going to have a tag team title matchup at No Mercy, but we will see the tag team champions in action later on tonight. And we're going to see Gallows and Anderson, the Raw Tag Team Champions, the club, up against Samoa Joe and Seth Rollins, as we now know, of course, if you did miss the last couple episodes of Universe Mo, it is official. It is going to be Seth Rollins versus Kevin Nash at No Mercy. One-on-one -on -one in a no-holds-barred match. That is going to be brutal, as now Jeff Hardy having a bit of a chat to Maurice, trying to get his attention is Maurice. It's going to work because the Miz from behind again is going to take advantage. And reverse DDT there by the Miz, and again using every everything he, he can in his power to get the upper hand in this matchup. And that's what the Miz has done so well throughout his career. He's willing to cheat. He's willing to distract. He's willing to you know, get anyone he can to help him out to further advance his career. As now Jeff Hardy on the outside. That's why I'm a little surprised that the Miz was happy to see Tyler Breeze go. Maybe Tyler Breeze was not willing to play second fiddle to the Miz any longer. While the Miz obviously wants to be a singles champion, maybe Tyler Breeze was not willing to wait around for the Miz to attempt that and perhaps 
The Miz was not willing to try and challenge for the tag team titles again. And it was quite clearly evident ever since they've been here on Raw, The Miz has been trying to get himself into more singles matches rather than tag team matches. So The Miz clearly having other ideas and clearly not going 100% in on his tag team with Tyler Breeze, which is a shame considering how successful the team were and the potential that they had to be a really great team. The Miz, clearly, the ego's getting in the way and he was too happy to go in a different direction. Once again, Maurice, though, getting herself involved. The referee, though, has to probably put a stop to this. Maurice has been involved, what, four times now? The referee's still allowing it. He'd have to think one or two more times and that's got to be it for her, surely. Well, the Miz is taking full advantage of it right now. He's looking to try and put Jeff Hardy away here. But Jeff with a counter. The Miz was hoping for the skull crushing finale. You'd have to think. But Jeff Hardy with a counter takes down the Miz and well, shuts that down immediately. Jeff right now trying his best to stay in the matchup. Swung off his feet though. And now the Miz is going to try and drag Jeff towards the middle of the ring. Trying to, trying to put him away here with the cover. Is this going to be enough? No. Well, for Jeff, he does not have a tag team partner to try and tag in here tonight. But at no mercy, he will. But it's a good test here for Jeff. Try and test himself and his endurance and see how long he can go without the need of a partner. The longer, the, the better for sure. Because if he does get isolated in the Dudley Boys match, he will want to have some, some other gear that he can switch to to break free of that isolation. Right now, The Miz in control of this match. Jeff Hardy trying to make sure that it does not remain to be the case. As now the neck breaker is coming again. The Miz takes down Jeff once again. And now another cover. Is this going to be it here for Jeff Hardy? No, a kick out. The Miz would love to spoil the return of the Hardy Boys. But he's been back for a few weeks now. The Miz would love to be the one to... And the Hardy Boys before it even begins. And he'll love to brag about it for weeks upon weeks. Miz now. Oh, a headlock driver. Right into the mat. And Jeff Hardy is out of it. But can the Miz get to Jeff? He's taking his time. He may be wasting too much time. Couldn't find the cover. Is that going to cost him? Now the shoulder block takedown. Jeff Hardy... Can't quite get the upper hand here as Miz collides with the head. And now another swinging neck breaker. The Miz just remains in control. And this is why he believes he can be a champion at some point. He wants to be the next United States champion. He would love to do it. Obviously we know Shinsuke Nakamura is the US champion. He'll defend his championship for the last time ever against Austin Aries. The winner takes all. If Nakamura wins, then that's it. Austin Aries will not get another opportunity. But if Austin Aries can find a way to victory, then he won't have to face Shinsuke Nakamura again for that title. As now, oh, the knee and then into the neck breaker. What about that combination there by The Miz? You cannot deny his talent and ability here tonight. No doubt about it. He's been obviously known for his trash talking, but he certainly is backing it up in the ring right now. He's putting on a clinic right now. Jeff Hardy in some major trouble here. The Miz hooks the leg and almost gets the three count. Two and a half there by Jeff. Jeff's waiting as long as he can to kick out or does he just have nothing left in the tank to kick out any sooner? We're about to find out as The Miz looking for the skull crushing finale. Can't quite connect. Jeff Hardy trying to stay in the game. The Miz though doing everything he can to shut this down and get this victory for himself here. The Dudley boys would love to see Jeff Hardy lose here. This would be a huge advantage for them. As now, The Miz again. Planting down Jeff Hardy, the back of his head into the mat, and Jeff is in some major, major trouble. He's got some big issues here. As now, The Miz, knee, neck breaker again. He continues to work away on the head of Jeff Hardy and you have to think it's a good strategy considering the skull crushing finale is what he'll be looking for next now Maurice consoling Miz on the outside just telling him that he's doing a good job and pumping him up giving him some more confidence not that he needs it Miz now snap mare 
He's continuing to wear down Jeff Hardy. You can see Jeff in agonizing pain. This is exactly what he does not want. A tough match just before No Mercy. Miz again going for the skull crushing finale. Jeff Hardy again finds another counter. When will this come into effect? When will Jeff Hardy take advantage? As now the Miz, uh oh, going for the figure four. The figure four leg lock is in and this may be it here for Jeff. He's close to the ropes, can he just find them? Fingertips away. He's trying to reach out. The Miz may have Jeff Hardy right here. Jeff though, looking to counter, puts the pressure back on the Miz. Miz has to release the hold. And you can see the Miz is hurting just as much as Jeff. Now the Miz in the corner. Jeff Hardy. Uh oh, gets countered there, Miz. We're going to take advantage. Jeff finds the elbow though. And Jeff going to drive the Miz back in the corner. Big right hand. A few more strikes to go with it. And now Jeff. Oh yes. Off the top. Connects. Takes down the Miz. And now, with a whisper in the wind, Jeff Hardy looking to put him away with the Swat Tide Bomb. Jeff Hardy has pulled out a huge victory just when you thought The Miz was going to seal the deal and take this match. Jeff Hardy pulls out the victory. Can you believe it? I had Jeff Hardy gone for all money. The Miz was looking so good, but Jeff Hardy all it took was 10 seconds of the match to turn it around. He found two of his best moves. The combination worked. And Jeff Hardy scores the victory as the Hardy Boys now prepare for the Dudley Boys against the upcoming No Mercy pay-per-view right here on Brendan Plays. It all takes place next week. You cannot wait for it. Next weekend, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be no mercy, and we're going to see some of the biggest matches in recent times take place, including the Hardys and the Dudleys. Who will be the last team left standing? We're going to find out at no mercy as Jeff Hardy celebrates the win here tonight. Well, this is going to be interesting, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to see how this team goes. Seth Rollins and Samoa Joe teaming up to take on the Tag Team Champions. The club, Gallows and Anderson, the Raw Tag Team Champions, on their way to the ring right now. Well, it's hard to see where this match is going to go. The club, well, they haven't had that many matches as of late. They've been cruising along. They've had a pretty easy. They've been dominating the Tag Team Division for quite some time now, and uh, after winning at SummerSlam, they're now sitting pretty. They don't, have to they don't have to defend their championships at no mercy. They don't have to compete at no mercy. They can have the night off. But they don't get the night off here tonight. This could be one of their toughest challenges as tag team champions. They're up against two of the best individuals right now in the WWE. The two men who are looking to challenge for the Universal Championship. Take it away from the champion. The two men who are looking to really take over this show. Take it back from the man Goldberg who has held it ever since he won that championship and ever since he returned to WWE. Goldberg has been on a rampage. We've documented it very well. Samoa Joe, former Money in the Bank holder, cashed in Money in the Bank on Goldberg at SummerSlam and he was screwed. Kevin Nash took that opportunity away from Samoa Joe with the distraction. Goldberg picked up the pieces and now Goldberg will have to defend fair and square against Samoa Joe at the upcoming No Mercy pay-per-view. Well, the other man in the equation is Seth Rollins, a man who's also had his issues with Goldberg. But for now, Seth Rollins has to turn his attention to Kevin Nash. Let's take a look at what happened last week here on Raw. It was Seth Rollins celebrating a victory, but Kevin Nash came out, boom, with a big boot, followed up. With the Jack Knife Powerbomb, he gets him up here and launches him down. Kevin Nash laying out Seth Rollins for Goldberg, trying to take Seth Rollins out of the equation. As we know, 
Seth Rollins is hunting Goldberg down. He wants to get his hands on Goldberg. He wants to take Goldberg out. But Kevin Nash is going to try and step in the way, trying to stop Seth Rollins from being able to do so. So Rollins will take on Kevin Nash at no mercy. It'll be no holds barred. Anything goes in that match. Rollins will truly get his chance to show what he can do. And Kevin Nash will make his first in-ring appearance in quite a long time here in Universe Mode. So Nash returns for a big match. His first singles match in a long time. So Rollins will get a chance to see where Kevin Nash is really at. How good is Kevin Nash at this day and age? Is At this age, can Kevin Nash compete? We know Goldberg's had the swan song, been able to come back. Even though his age has been a big factor about it, he's been able to come back and have so much success. Well, I don't know if Kevin Nash can replicate that. We'll see. Kevin Nash has been in the gym working hard, so I'm sure he will deliver a good performance. He says he's healthy. He says the knee issues that he's had in the past won't affect him. I don't know about that, but we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully he doesn't tear the quad. So Rollins at the moment working away on Carl Anderson as uh, Seth Rollins opting to get in the matchup first up here for his team, looking to probably unload a lot of aggression he's got. All that anger that he had against Kevin Nash and Goldberg trying to take it out here on the club, which is dangerous for Gallows and Anderson here tonight. As now Rollins head first into the second turnbuckle. Anderson going up to the second, and he won't even wait for Rollins to roll in position. He's just going to go and get him. Drops the knees and the hands on Seth Rollins. And crashes down on him. Luke Gallows is then the big man of the team. And this is a good test. Luke Gallows has the size that Seth Rollins will be dealing with at no mercy. So this is a good test here for Seth Rollins. Samoa Joe, of course, facing Goldberg at No Mercy. So a big match here. The Tag Team Champions Gallows and Anderson have been so good. The titles are not on the line, and they know that Rollins and Joe are no threat. They know they're not, they're not coming for their championships, so you have to wonder what kind of performance will these two put in. Will they give their absolute best? I'm sure they probably will. I think they would like to prove themselves against two of the best here on Raw. As Rollins, look out, connects with a big boot right on the chin. And he's happy about that one as well. Seth Rollins is looking to try and put Luke Gallows away early here. Will he be able to do it? Looking for that knee strike. Oh, he's just missed. He went for the King's Landing, but he wasn't able to connect. This time he gets... Gallows down, but he gets shrugged off there. Something Small Joe wanted to tag into the matchup, but he's not going to be able to get it. There's now Luke Gallows continues to wear down on Seth Rollins right now. And Seth Rollins, oh, Enziguri striking down Luke Gallows. Nicely executed there. And now Samoa Joe, who will enter the matchup here for the first time. And Joe himself. A man on a mission looking to try and capture the Universal Championship at No Mercy. And speaking of No Mercy, ladies and gentlemen, we have to take a quick little break. And we'll be back right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, at No Mercy, we will see Chris Jericho challenge AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. But before we get to No Mercy, Chris Jericho has a big, big match on the upcoming episode of SmackDown. Jericho goes one-on-one -on -one with the big dog, Roman Reigns. Will Jericho get the victory he's been looking for? We'll find out very, very soon on the next episode of Udo Smoke. Coming your way very, very soon. Well, we're back here on Monday Night Raw as Seth Rollins is climbing to the top of the rope. What's he got planned here for Gallows? Wants him to get to his feet as Seth Rollins looking to line him up. The big man's in some trouble. Flying cross body takes him down. Gallows and Anderson, the tag team champions, up against Rollins and Samoa Joe, a makeshift team, but two men who have become allies in recent times. They've got a common enemy, or well, enemies now, in Goldberg and Kevin Nash. Well, Goldberg will be dealt with by Samoa Joe at no mercy, but Kevin Nash will be dealt with by Seth Rollins at no mercy as well big match for Seth Rollins you have to think if he wins and Samoa Joe loses Rollins will be the next man in line to challenge Goldberg for the championship we'll have to wait and see but uh, for right now Luke Gallows gets struck in the gut there by Rollins and now oh right hand there 
as the heads collide as well. As now Rollins takes down Gallows and continues the offense. Seth Rollins seems to be a real man on a mission right now. He's been in impressive form as of late. He's beaten some of the big names, including even pitting Goldberg. The only man to really have gotten the best of Goldberg so far has been Seth Rollins, which is a big reason why Goldberg's trying to well, hide away from him. Now he's looking to get Kevin Nash. as a hired gun to take him out. As now Gallows into the corner with a turnbuckle bomb. Seth Rollins trying to prove that size does not matter. Kevin Nash can have all the size in the world, but it won't matter to Rollins. Right for King's Landing, he's missed again though. Seth Rollins can't quite connect. That knee strike, it's his new big move. It's he's now, it's now his go-to move. He has taken the pedigree away from his arsenal. He's either going for that curb stomp or, of course, that knee strike. Is now the tag. This is trouble here, as now... It is the club going for their signature move, the Magic Killer. Carl Anderson to beat Rollins in the middle of the ring. Will Joe get there? No, but it won't matter as Rollins can kick out it too. How close was that? You'd have to say it's an upset here tonight if Gallows and Anderson were able to beat Rollins and Joe. You got the two best number one contenders here on Raw as a team. You'd have to think they'll get the victory despite the tag team champions being so dominant as a team. Almost set the victory though, did the tag champs. It's now Rollins, here we go. Forget about this knee strike, what about the curb stomp? Rollins, the cover. Has he done enough though? Yo, no, he's almost done it. So close, but Anderson kicked out. Rollins really not setting up Anderson that much. Anderson still pretty fresh. Rollins was trying to connect with that move out a bit of desperation of anything, because you can see he tagged out straight away, knowing that he hadn't Really nothing left in the tank for now. He tags in Samoa Joe. And maybe Rollins wasn't able to connect with all the power that he would normally have on that curb stomp. Meanwhile, Joe back in the match. In the corner now is the number one contender. The former Money in the Bank winner. You talk about aggression. Well, Samoa Joe has been full of it. He has been one man on a mission. His mission is to destroy Goldberg. Get revenge for what happened. Samoa Joe should be champion right now. He should be the universal champion. That's the way Money in the Bank works. You normally cash in. It normally works. It was the perfect time. It was after Hell in a Cell. As oh, the boot of doom there by Carl Anderson. What about that strike? Excellent stuff there by Anderson. Oh, it was the perfect time for Joe to cash in. Hell in a Cell had just taken place at SummerSlam. Goldberg just survived one of the most difficult matches of his career. Joe tried to cash him at the insurance of Kevin Nash. Save the day. And Samoa Joe gets met with a knee in the back. Kevin Nash won't be an issue. Won't be a factor at No Mercy. Because if Kevin Nash gets himself involved, Goldberg automatically loses the championship. And not only that, Seth Rollins now has a match with Kevin Nash. No holds barred. So if Seth Rollins is able to beat Kevin Nash, you'd have to think that Kevin Nash... Well, he won't have any factor if he, even if he wanted to later on in the night. Now, another magic killer. This time it's to Samoa Joe. Can Joe kick out this time? Pressure on! Oh, geez, again. And that is as close as it gets to a three count. Joe just barely surviving. And the club just can't seem to beat these two strong heavyweights. The two best men here on Raw as a team. Well, the club... Just can't put these individuals away. Almost beat Rollins and now almost beat Joe, but almost isn't good enough. Running sent on by Joe. The number one contender trying to fire up here, trying to get himself back in the matchup. Gotta say though, the club have been so good. Despite not winning the match just yet, they've been so impressive and you have to say they're not too far away from doing so. Here's some more tag team work by the champs. Double back body drop. Well, the tag team work of these two you just have to applaud it. So good. So elegant to watch. But it can't. Once again, it can't get the job done. Joe will not give up. He knows if he loses tonight, that Goldberg has all the momentum in the world going to his favor. Goldberg believes Samoa Joe can't beat him one-on-one. -on -one. In a fair one-on-one -on -one match, Goldberg believes Joe is just not good enough. That's why he wanted Kevin Nash to interfere. Because he knew that Samoa Joe... Was not going to be able to beat him 
fair and square and he felt as though Joe was not a deserving champion. Joe has not done enough to be the champion. As Owen oh, Inzaguri. So Goldberg was trying to protect his own assets. But also, he believes Joe is not worthy of being the champion. Not being the one to beat Goldberg at the end of the day. And that has infuriated Samoa Joe. And he's looked to try and get his hands on Goldberg when any, whenever he can. But will he be a little bit more reserved tonight? He looks to me as though he's more focused. He's not as erratic. His emotions are more under control. And he's just going about his work here. Just looking to dismantle the club. Just looking to beat them here tonight. And get to no mercy. Not going to try anything fancy. Not going to try anything different. Just going to get this job done. But right now it's Carl Anderson making it very difficult on him. Can't quite put him away just yet. Joe though, back to his feet. Takes down Anderson. Samoa Joe. Can he get himself in a winning position here? Right now it's the club all over. Will he need to find the tag? This is a test here for Samoa Joe. If Joe's going to beat Goldberg, he needs to be able to overcome this situation. And there is a sit-out powerbomb. He sat down with all the power in the world and he can deliver on a Samoa Joe. Anderson now. There's the big boot again and that may well be it here. Joe is down. Anderson in complete control. The tag champs are getting the job done here tonight. And this is exactly what Goldberg and Kevin Nash are hoping for. But here's the tag. Small mistake there by the tag champs. Rollins back in. Now head first. Anderson finding himself in some trouble now. But can't quite get the job done as Seth Rollins. Anderson still has some fight. Shot to the gut there of Seth Rollins. Carl Anderson can't take advantage. Rollins not giving away the upper hand right now. Oh, sets down Anderson again. He knows the magnitude of this situation. The importance of this match right now. Rollins, uh-oh, look out. There it is, a big strike to the chin. And also caught the forehead as well of Carl Anderson. He's been cut open with that kick. The boot of Rollins covering the entire face. Just caving it in of Carl Anderson, who's pretty dazzled at the moment. He's dazed. There it is. King's landing right on the skull. And if he wasn't cut earlier, he's cut now for sure. That's it. Seth Rollins has the ability to win a match out of thin air. And he showcased it right there. Rollins picks up the win. And he now is looking ready to go when he takes on Kevin Nash. At the upcoming No Mercy pay-per-view, we're going to see Goldberg and Joe at the same time. What a night it's going to be. And it takes place next weekend here on Brendan Plays. These two celebrate the win here tonight. Oh, hang on, there's Goldberg. There's Goldberg, the champ. And he's looking at Samoa Joe face-to-face, -face, these two, just before No Mercy. Goldberg trying to intimidate Samoa Joe, who's not intimidated whatsoever. Joe is as ready as ever. Goldberg getting in his face. They won't go to blows tonight. They're going to save it for the pay-per-view. But the tension is there. These two eyeing each other down. And it's going to be huge. No mercy. Goldberg. Joe. Universal title on the line. That is going to be big. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for joining us for another episode of Universe Mod. It's the final Raw in WWE 2K17 history. That's it. No more Raw. But we still have SmackDown and an episode of NXT to go before No Mercy. Then... We call it quits for 2K17 and we move on to 2K18 when it's going to be bigger and even better. Don't miss it. Stay tuned. Make sure you see the pay-per-view so you're up to date with everything to do with Universe Mode just before the new game. It's coming your way next weekend. Don't miss it. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. See you next episode.